Everything almost has been down. Mm. We're just there, trying to lift things up. And there, there is, as we were saying, a question about focus on which areas of uh, development, where to put money. Uh, we know that uh, Rwanda had a debt write-off uh, in 2006. It has taken on quite a lot of debt since then, about 50% of GDP. And there are some major investments uh, based on this uh, borrowed money that have been questioned, um, such as investments in Rwanda Air, which has a, a $50 uh, million dollar annual deficit, um, or perhaps a £30 million pound sponsorship deal with Arsenal Football Club for Visit Rwanda. Uh, just in light of this sort of acknowledgement of the development needs in Rwanda, uh, is your government perhaps do you I think, I think uh, there are people who don't invest their time in reading what is happening. In Rwanda, there is no such a, a, a problem. One, I have to inform you that uh, our borrowing capacity is actually still huge. It's not at 50 percent, as you say, it's actually 30, about 32 percent. Mm. So we still have that gap of about 18 well, percent. Uh, is your government perhaps do a rethink on where it's spending this borrowed money on, on these projects that perhaps... There's no such a, a, a problem. One, I have to inform you that uh, our borrowing capacity is actually still huge. It's not at 50 percent, as you say, it's actually 30, about 32 percent. Mm. So we still have that gap of about 18 percent. But it's not about how much it's, the country's borrowing, it's about where the borrowed money is being put. That, that's what I'm saying. But I'm starting with that because you are the author of the debt. But going to specific areas, if you look at, for example, how much ground we have covered in ensuring that the country is food secure, but how much we put, we spend in our national budget on health, by the way, the health outcomes are the money we put in uh, Arsenal or football and so on. I think people just, this is why I said people don't have time to think and relate things. We have actually... ...to dividing, uh, providing development of funding and investment. I think uh, this kind of discussion which has gone on for a very long time around sounds a bit cynical in a sense. In, in fact, it's like... The tragic situation of 1994 isn't considered even a, a violation of human rights. It has now gone into the background. Those who are responsible for it, those who are associated with it, are now talking about something else. According to them, the situation in Rwanda is that of human rights violation mm -hmm. percent. So we, these people, these human beings with improved lives, and the participants that we have gone through that we stood against and sorted out when you were there just talking about mm -mm. more or less nonsense because... Do you reject the accusations, for example, from Amnesty rubbish, International? It's rubbish, absolute rubbish. You, you reject Rwanda that? is completely different from mm -hmm. what it was 25 years ago. In fact, maybe you need to be looking... When we have this problem of people being bundled and sent back to sink in the Mediterranean and so on, and so many people being mistreated in mm -hmm. your own countries. Why don't you talk about your human rights and stop just offloading everything? Well, this is a development that. conversation, so no, in the context not, of development. You are not the nonsense about human rights. You, you think you are the only ones who respect human rights, or others it's about violating human rights. No, we've fought for human rights and freedoms of our people much better and more than anyone, including you people who keep talking about this nonsense. Where we have taken our account, you know, the, 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 these two worlds where there are people who know anything, everything about human rights and all kinds of things and... Development goals, No, United Nations is us. You of see, course. United Nations is not something alien somewhere else. Yeah. It's actually us human rights in Europe, in Africa, no, in I all countries. I believe that you shouldn't be there. I believe that there are valid human rights concerns to be taken into account in this conversation. Even in Europe, not in Africa. Not in, in Africa. Europe, in, in Europe, not only in Africa. Not <laughs>